Hi. This is my take two of doing this. I kept getting interrupted a bunch of times, <laughs> and I still might get interrupted by Della. But I wanted to tell you in a really quick video what to do with the index index cards that I gave you. It's my method of doing a research paper, okay? It makes it a little bit easier to organize your thoughts if you put some of your facts on index cards. Currently, you should have something like this. That's just a page with information and facts. And if that's where you're at, that's where you're supposed to be. Um, but it's helpful to to transfer those those facts and more thoughts and ideas onto the index cards because it'll be easier to organize your thoughts then. Um, I want you, step number one, take three of the index cards and save them for your sources. Find your three sources, three books, um, or in my case, I have a book, source number one, source number two, a textbook, and then source number three, the ever popular internet search, like Wikipedia, something online. Those are my three sources. And I'm gonna take them and write a bibliography or a citation on the card and label it one, two, and three, depending on which it is. Um, moms, one of the best places you can find information on how to appropriately cite a source is easybib.com. And I think you can just put in the information there and it helps you format, format it correctly. Or you can pick the format type that you want. Um, it's been a while since I've used that, but I've, I've used it in the past with my kids and it makes it a little bit easier. Um, other, a lot of the internet places I've gone recently, like um, Britannica.com, several other places, they've actually had citations that they print out with like the person. So um, that's been helpful. So sometimes it's a link or like a, you know, a thing you have to push. Sometimes it just prints out with it. So that's step one. Get your sources in order. Step two is to take the remaining 10 cards and transfer your facts or write down facts on the cards. Now you can kind of do this a couple different ways. One of my suggestions is take two of the cards for sure for specific things. The first card is a, a bio info card and on that I would put their name, their um, birth date and place, their death date and place or what they might have died from. You know, take the numbers and subtract them and figure out how old they were when they died. And then if they have a specific title or um, other name that they're known by, for instance, my lady was called the Bride of the Reformation that's helpful to know or mark down. So that's card one. And then the second card I would make sure and do is the main significance, like historical significance of your person. Um, also on the cards, it's helpful to write down where, what source you drew that from. So this I got from my second source. Go out for just a minute, mommy's doing a video. What? For co-op. Go out and close my door. Um, it, you can also put like the page number, so you can put source number two, page four or whatever. Um, that's usually, I think for like older kids, or if you have a quote or something like that, we're not going to do end notes or things like that yet. So it's not really super important that they put the page number, but it can be helpful for the future. Um, but yeah, make a card that's a statement of the, you know, main significance that the person holds in history. So those are two of the cards. Then the rest of the cards, I would just kind of set, set out to write down a bunch of facts about the person, um, the main high points. Some of the things you can do, like with my lady, um, I wrote, she had like these, these four marriages, three of, of which were to reformers. And some of the things I put were like on the back, um, just like each marriage and how things went and the things that occurred. But some of the quotes like this guy, um, Johannes um, Ocum Lampadius, 
he said, um, the Lord has given me a sister and a wife. And so I, I wrote down some extra quotes on the back um, that just kind of refer to that person. Um, and then let's, let me just see here some of the things. Um, yeah, mostly like quotes and, and the series of events of her life. But they were all like mixed up because I was finding them in different places. And, you know, they were from different sources and they were kind of a mess. Well, the third step is to try to organize your co your cards in a logical order. Okay? So I have my cards. My first two cards are probably going to be the first two, the biological information and the main significance. But then the other ones, I'm going to kind of lay out and try to see in what order they should go. You can also put like at the bottom a circle and a number for the series that you want them to go in. That's helpful. But I think for our next meeting um, later in the month, I would like you just to come with three source cards and 10 fact cards. And you can have more than one fact on them as well. I think you kind of saw that, that I had multiple facts on them. Um, but you kind of want to classify them. You don't want like about their birth and their death on the, you know, the same card or, you know, about their childhood and then how they messed up as a grown up. You kind of want them to be separate unless it is like their childhood all on one card, their, you know, teenage years all on one card, about their death all on one card, things like that. So, because you want to be able to rearrange them and organize them. Um, but when we come back together, have your 10 cards and your three source cards and put them in that baggie. And then we can kind of talk about some of the, the organizational hints that I have for that. And then we'll also talk about some of the stylistic things that we want to add. And I'll, I'll add a couple cards with, um, like an introduction card and a conclusion card and, um, maybe a card that we can summarize their main achievements and, you know, things they added to the Middle Ages. So bring those back, your, your 10 cards and your three source cards, and we can talk about it. And by the way, my source cards, I didn't write out the bibliography, um, but I think that was kind of self-explanatory. So it was such an amazing day and so much fun, and I just had a blast with all of you. So thanks so much for doing um, all the hard work, both moms and kids, to make that happen. And have a really, really great weekend, and I'll get this sent off to you pretty soon. Bye.